Why don't they check those things? It drives me crazy, man. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the technical difficulties at this time. I will lead us in a brief word of prayer. Please bow with me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day that you have given us. Thank you for this opportunity for these two teams to meet and play tonight on the field of competition. Please look after all of our players and fans tonight. Please keep them safe. Let all of our fans have a safe journey as they make their work home this evening. In Christ's name we ask these things. Amen. At this time, please honor America by rising with hands over hearts and joining the ACA Patriot Band as they present tonight's national anthem. John Roberts, wide receiver, senior. Aaron Box, running back, linebacker, senior. Sean Blackford, running back, linebacker, senior. Stevie Jones, linebacker, senior. Harry Stokes, left guard, defensive tackle, senior. Logan Elliott, left tackle, defensive end, senior. Austin Holden, defensive end, center, senior. Nelson Brown, right tackle, defensive tackle, junior. Will Sullivan, right guard, defensive tackle. Parker Dare, safety, receiver, sophomore. Colton Bradford, TV, uh, junior. <laughs> Brody Kale, tight end, linebacker, junior. Grayson Nolan, wide receiver, junior. Cole Campbell, DB, junior. Aaron Kirkley, O line, junior. Chase Bowler, safety, sophomore. Austin Mullenbrock, quarterback, junior. Austin Aikens, safety, running back, junior. Connor Thigpen, junior, kicker. Well, welcome to the ACA Patriot Field in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, American Christian Academy, where tonight the 3A American Christian Academy Patriots are going to be against the 5A Demopolis Tigers from Demopolis, Alabama. Greg Crow here with Darrell Young. We're here to tell you about the game today. Darrell, how you doing? Doing great. Looking for a good game. What do you see tonight? It's going to be a tough matchup for the first inaugural Causey Bowl between Demopolis. It's a pretty interesting matchup. Tom Causey, the head coach of Demopolis, 
won a state title there in 2009 with the Demopolis Tigers. A very strong tradition of football in Demopolis. And uh, against his brother, his younger brother of three years, John Causey tonight. John Causey, of course, was a all-SEC performer for Gene Stallings at Alabama and the head coach at ACA. Uh, I know the competition uh, will start here shortly with them two. And I'm sure uh, since this game's been scheduled, they have uh, been talking about playing each other. Here comes Demopolis now, 80 strong. Uh, good 5A high school coming out with about 80 players on the roster tonight. And here comes the ACA Patriots. Uh, 3A AC Patriots coming out. I think it's going to be a good matchup tonight. Both teams have a lot of young players. ACA uh, very strong on the front. A lot of inexperience in the backfield. And a uh, uh, new quarterback taking over for uh, All-State quarterback Austin Grammer. And, we lost a lot of seniors last year that are now playing other places, but uh, I think ACA with a, with a strong line play in front seven, if they can keep those young guys hanging in there for a little while, I think we can hang in there with Demopolis and maybe pull it out at the end. ACA Patriots will be receiving the football. Uh, probably our two break, best breakaway threats. John Roberts, number seven, a senior, and Parker Dare, a sophomore, back to receive the uh, kickoff for ACA. Be a great time for one of these boys to bust one down the sideline. Demopolis, go ahead. The uh, Demopolis in the uh, way white uniforms with the blue helmets, ACA in the Patriot blue uniforms and the white helmets. Number 22, Michael Brooker getting set to kick off for Demopolis. And we're underway in the first annual Causey Bowl. A short kick with trouble. Woo, Darrell, I'm glad uh, that thing got out of bounds because we didn't have anybody really close to that one. I hope so. We'll, I'm sure they will. We got, uh, as you can see, we're going across the line here on offense. Got a big offensive line starting out with, of course, Logan Elliott, offensive lineman, uh, senior Harry Stokes, Austin Hallman, Will Sullivan, big Nelson Brown. Austin Mullenbrock making his first start as a junior here at ACA. Been the backup quarterback for the last two years. First play, we're coming out of the pistol. Low snap, but Austin picks it up, scrambles, flips it. First play jitters there on that little shuffle pass. It looked like we had a low snap and uh, uh, had a few guys break loose on the, the Demopolis line getting back there. Second and 10 at the 35. Looks like our center is going to have his hands full tonight. Austin Hall. Number 54 from Demopolis. Hall is right. He's a big old boy. 5'9, 308 pounds. Toss to Austin Akins. Tries to cut back. Demopolis is swarming. Maybe picked up a half a yard. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot there, was there, Darrell? It was uh, a one-yard game by Austin Aiken. Hey, here's the with the tackle. Looks like we'll stay with third down and nine. Third and nine at the 36. Of course, our offensive coordinator this year is an uh, ACA uh, uh, celebrity, I would say. He was our quarterback for almost six years here and went on to play at the University of South Carolina for Steve Spurrier, Chris Smelly. Chris Smelly's the offensive coordinator. I can promise you he'll dial something up here that's going to work. Mullenbrock back in the pistol. Looks like we like that formation. Got a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. Darrell, can you tell what it is? It's a delay again. We're going to back him up five and run it again. Third and 14. Not the kind of position we want to start. No. 
the late game on the offense of five yard penalty. 30-14 for the 31. Third and 14. Mullenbrock back to throw, throwing it out to John Roberts. Nice play. Going to be a yard short of the first down, but a very nice throw from Austin Mullenbrock. Got back. Set his feet. John Roberts made a nice catch. 13 yard gave up a play. Tyrell Barnett with a tackle. Looks like we're thinking about going for it. I like that. Fourth and one, we got John Roberts splitting wide with Dare. Brody Kell comes in the game to play a tight end on the right side. Looks like we moved. Not going to get it. Not going to get it. Looked like we moved early, but no flag. And uh, we're just a little tentative getting to those holes, Darrell. We look like... Hey, I like going... I like going forward. It's a big game. I like the call. Looked like we had to play. We just didn't get there. Got a, lot, got a lot of guys going both ways. Cole Campbell's in. Uh, defensive back. Got a flag on the play. Got a sideline warning against the Mobbers. All right, Coach. Uh, Coach Tom over there. He don't like. He likes their call too much. That's a warning. It looks like uh, they're getting them back. They got a lot of guys to keep off the sideline over there. So no penalty right there. Really, just a warning. No yardage uh, uh, penalty. The Mobbers is spread out in the pistol. ACA's got Stevie Jones coming in, a linebacker. Uh, Sean Blackburn, 47. Cole Campbell, 27. Everybody else going both ways tonight. Demopolis looking to change plays. Running the spread. Everybody's checking their plays on the wrist. Man in motion. Fumble. Fumble on the play, Sean Blackburn's right there. There's a fumble on the play. Recovered by Tucker Jones. I tell you what, on number one for Demopolis, uh, Demetrius Kemp. Second and nine at the 42. He looked pretty fast, Darrell, going around in motion. If he's that fast in motion, we better be careful with him. Boy, they're spread out. Got big gaps between the guard and the center of the tackle. Running right up the middle. Pretty big hole right there. They got our they got our linemen uh, spread out. Eight yard gain on the play by Robert Davis. Stevie Jones with a tackle and one at the 34 yard line. Yeah, that's one thing about the spread. You, you see how far the, the gap is between their tackles and their tight end, or their their wing back there, and then between the center and guard. And Tennessee's to get your guys. You got to go out and match up with them. It leaves a lot of gaps. Stevie Jones made a good tackle there for ACA. Ten yard gain on the play by Roderick Davis. Stevie Jones with a tackle. First and ten, Demopolis up a 23 yard line. Uh, we got to tighten up on the uh, front seven right there. Line spread out, linebackers got to make plays. Stevie Jones, Aaron Box, Sean Blackburn got to step up, make some tackles. They're going to be busy. There's Aaron Box with a, uh, with a pretty good tackle, and Logan Elliott comes in and puts a big hit on number six. Being the first game of the year, Darrell, I'm sure we're going to have to adjust, and the Moppets has got speed and size. And, uh, yep. Yep. 
Again, number one is in motion. Demetrius Kemp. They're running it right up the gut. Austin Hallman comes over and makes a tackle after about a five-yard gain. Robert Davis to the 15. A five-yard gain on the play. Austin Hallman with the tackle. He'll come up with third and about two to go. Two at the 15. The mop is not doing anything fancy right now. They're just running the ball right up the gut. Looks like we got a blitz on. There it comes. That was a good call. We didn't make the tackle. Logan Elliott trips him up after he makes the first down, gets down to about the 11 yard line. Looks like Aaron Box is going to be on the blitz on that play. Right where Aaron left. Took up by Logan Elliott. Clock's running. Going to be a short quarter. Only seven minutes and 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Demopolis got the ball at the 49-yard line. They're driving. Nothing fancy. Been straight up the gut almost every time with one option play. High snout. There's a pass across the middle. Wide open. Somebody blew a coverage right there, Darrell. I don't know what happened, but uh, that was a uh, sucker's in with him. Up the middle. An 11-yard completion from Tucker Jones to White Hill. Lee Pickford. Right down the middle. Yep. That was a good, impressive opening drive by, by Demopolis. Nothing really fancy. They just ran that counter. Uh, right up the middle. We're going to have to figure out a way to shut down the middle of that. Number six, a halfback at Roderick Davis. Ran the ball at least six or seven times on that drive. I record drive. And, uh, 43 yards. Three minutes, 56 seconds. They kicked that short kickoff last time. We got to be ready for that. ACA's got to buckle down here. Demopolis going to be big and strong up the middle. It looks like uh, right over there on the 30. Got some new faces in the game for ACA on the kickoff team. Number 36, Cameron McBride's a ninth grader. Josh Gilliland, Jr. A lot of new faces here on the kickoff team. Chase Bowling, 28. Nice play by Parker Dare to come up and catch that ball. Not a whole lot there. Demopolis is pretty fired up. Kind of bringing it to us right now. They look like they're glad to be in Tuscaloosa. Hit in a hurry. by Michael Brooker, fielded by Tucker Dare at the 25 yard line. A four yard return on the play. First and 10 at the 29. Well, that, that little flare out they threw to John Roberts, that little, uh, little 12, 13 and out, they threw, that's an illegal substitute. Broke the huddle with 12 men. Uh, we got in it. We got in a new set. We got in a new fullback and a new uh, and a new tailback. Twenty-five is sophomore J.T. Heights who's come in at fullback. Forty-seven. Forty-seven is Sean Blackburn who's moved in to uh, uh, to the tailback position. That's going to start us out at first down at fifteen. We just can't afford too many of those against this Demopolis team uh, tonight. Austin Mullenbrock, your quarterback, under center. Aaron Box, tight ends in motion. Sean Blackwood flips the ball back, doesn't pick it up. The Moppas will be fortunate to get this back. Well, I tell you, that. That was a pretty good play. He had, he had some room to run, and uh, I think he, he had so much room that he was looking to where he was going to run instead of catching the ball. Definitely got to keep his eyes on the ball. 
Yeah, that, that's pretty good play. Looked like we had a pretty good hole working on that left side and had some good blocks. Aaron Box in motion hit a good block. Uh, John Roberts did a good job blocking on the end, but we got we to quit turning the ball over. We got second down and uh, uh, halfway to target down the street. How far is that? 30? 30 yards to go. Second down. Tell you what, there ain't much there. Three yards came up a play by Sean Blackburn. Now I tell you, I, I know Chris Smelly's a good offensive coordinator. There ain't many plays for third and 27 from your six-yard line. Looks like a timeout. Timeout ACA on the field. That's going to be a tough one. Five minutes and 58 seconds left in the first quarter. Uh, third and 32. Demopolis up seven to nothing. How do you feel like the players are? Uh, are they ready to play tonight? How do you feel like the players are? Uh, are they ready to play tonight? We're mentally prepared. Uh, we've been uh, conditioning pretty good bits uh, to get uh, ready for this game. What do, you, what do you think tonight? I know it's an uphill battle playing 5A uh, Demopolis. It's going to be a tough battle for us, but uh, you know they have to put 11 on the field just like we got. Uh, and I'll take our 11 over there 11 any day. Special teams play a big part. Uh, how do you feel about your special teams tonight? I know you got a lot of young guys on the special teams. Yeah, we got a very good kicker in Connor Thigpen. He's uh, got a very good leg on him. Um, we look for big things out of him. Um, just being consistent tonight. Uh, look forward to a uh, hopefully a close game that will game. Well, we're back here with a third down and about 32. It's timeout ACA. Try to regroup deep down. Got a screen pass to 47, Sean Blackburn. Going to get about four yards. Not a bad play. Safe play. That's exactly right. Complete to Sean Blackburn. Four yards gained on the play. Tyrell Barnett with the tackle. Still got fourth down to 28. Fourth down, Patriots at the 10. Connor Thigpen's in the punt. The mop is still running guys out on the field. Aaron Box is snapping for the Patriots. A little high snap. Big Pen tries to get it off. It's blocked in the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown to Mopolis. We, uh, two, got, two guys ran free. We never, we, we did, uh, no, our, our, our back guy picked up one of them. Uh, but, I mean, they ran, they ran Scott free. Yeah, well, we, we've uh, taken nothing away from Demopolis. They've come ready to play. They're fired up, jumping around on the sidelines, and uh, they've come to play. But now we've, we fumbled the ball, mishandled snaps. Uh, that was a high snap. Kicker was slow getting it off, and we didn't block. All the, we did everything wrong. It was a team effort. Uh, I know Coach Causey is down there talking now. Just we got a lot of young guys on these special teams. Kicks good, 14 to nothing, Demopolis. 5-11 to go in the first quarter. We need a big play and we need it quick. Hey, look at my back, hand me my phone right there. It's on the side bag in that black bag right there. I'm sorry, that one right there, I get it. I got it. Making sure Dan, Dan's watching this thing. Make sure. Yeah. Can't. Hey, Darrell, let's get a sound check on you real quick. We got a report. We can't hear your uh, mic as well. Check. 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 Check.
Westwood. Marvelous set to kick off again. Looking for another short kick. And it is. Letting it hit the ground. Oh boy, Parker. One, Parker Dare makes Dare. a great play. Comes up and gets that ball. That's what we're looking for right there. Oh boy, Parker. That's some good start and field position. That's what we are talking about um, earlier. Uh, come up and get that thing and make a nice run. We found ourselves in a 14 hold, 14 point deficit. Hopefully the ACA Patriots come out on this drive ready to move the ball. Austin Mullenbrag back behind center, um, Aaron Box in motion. Another flip to Austin Akins. He got to hit that hole. We're going, we're running east and west. We got to pop that thing up in there and get down the field. Pretty good blocking right there. We just got to hold our blocks. Austin Akins, number 14, Austin Akins. On the play. Second 12 at the 42. ACA brings in number nine, Newman Bailey. He's out wide. Aaron Box lining up a tight end. Parker Dare in a slot. John Roberts on the far side. Now uh, Parker Dare is coming back over. Another timeout by ACA. It's our second timeout. We've used up, we've used up two here in the first quarter with 424 to go. We're just kind of spinning right now, Darrell. We, uh, uh, Demopoulos said, now, that's what Coach calls me. You see him right now, he's got, he's got the guys together, and he, he's just telling them, look, guys, settle down. We're still in this ball game. We're, we're doing a lot of things wrong. We can get back in it. we got good field position here again. And uh, now Chris Smelly's in there, and he's trying to get the offense ready to go and call the plays. And uh, be honest, Austin Mullenbrock's done everything he's needed to do tonight. He's made, he's made good handoffs, good flips on the option and the sweep. And the, uh, the one throw that he made uh, was, was a very nice throw and a nice screen. He's handled the game pretty well uh, and, and, and looked pretty solid. We just we got to get everybody on the same page and get over being nervous. And the Moppets ain't a bad football team either. Got trips right. And that Same pistol coverage down here on the pistol bottom. formation again. Screen to Dare. I like that play. Woo! Tell you what, there the Moppas is getting after that ball. They That's going to be a rough and rough and little rough and right there. Face mask. Two yards gained on the play. One point Anderson with the tackle. There's a flag on the play. Hey, it wouldn't hurt for us to get about 15 yards right here. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have offsetting. They sure are discussing for, if it's nothing but a face mask or a roughing penalty, it sure is uh, taking them a long time. Well, I hope it's not against us because we sh Yep. Yeah, they're getting Harry Stokes out of the game. I think he's got a late hit. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh I they got that call right. Dead ball, personal foul. Foul. foul on the defense. Dead ball, personal foul on the offense. I tell you what, we need this first quarter to hurry up and get over with is what we need. We just need to start again. What we got here, we got a second down and a long way to go. Come on guys, hold it together. Let's get a good play right here. Got a fly. John Roberts goes up to get it. Oh, I tell you what. That's a good play by number five from Demopolis to knock it away, Tommy Wilson. 
Yeah, that was a great play by well, Tommy Wilson. Pass, John Roberts, incomplete. Tommy Wilson in coverage for the Mavericks. I thought John Robertson was going to get that thing for a second. Well, I like that matchup. John Roberts is a good athlete. He can go up and get the ball. And uh, I think we can, uh, we might go back to that pretty soon. You don't see that very much. We're back in that pistol again. Looking, uh, oh, here comes the blitz. We're faking the blitz, and here it comes. Got a blitz. We picked it up extremely well. Nice job by our line, and Roberts is wide open. And a uh, little high. Going to have a hold right here. Pass incomplete. There's a flag on the play. What did you see, Darrell? Ball. If it would have got out just a second earlier, John Roberts had his man beat down the far sideline. Bowl across pass, Jennifer John Roberts incomplete. Broken up by Tyler Perkins. Man, another. Man, I'm telling you, we need the first quarter to hurry up and get over with. What do we got? We four pass. Oh, he went across the line of scrimmage to throw it. A five-yard penalty. Wow. So on fourth and 25, we will punt the ball. We need a good punt. Another high snap. Demopolis has the, the return set. Pretty kick right there. That Fair catch called there. for. Nice job by Connor Thigpen. Here catch call on the look at Elliot Punt. First and ten at the 40. Quick pass down the left side. They're just picking up a quick seven, eight yards on the play. Yeah, by number 14, Colton Bradford. Gave him a little room, but he did make a good tackle. A pretty good player over there on number Every nine. pass, complete to Rodney Harper. That's Rodney Harper. Seven yards gained on the play. Colton Bradford with a tackle. Second down at three. Second and three from the 47. And that pistol, number 10, in motion right up the gut. Out of boy, Nelson Brown. What a great play by Nelson Brown. He came down the line, hit him hard. I mean, just a great, great play. We needed that. Two yards getting on the play by Roger Davis. Third one coming. Well, we'll take all we can get right now, won't we? Got a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. Another flag. Let's let's hope that's on them this time. Well, oh. Lord, have mercy. Prior to the snap, ball side on the defense. The five-yard penalty. Result of the penalty. First and ten, Demopolis. Yeah, I think we can make a ball game. I just think we're just, we're just giving them giving them a little too much. Coaches are working hard over here on the sidelines, trying to coach them up. From the pistol, got a roll out. That's a good play. Parker Dare had good coverage, came over. Parker Jones pass, and then for Brock Montgomery incomplete. Parker Dare in coverage. Second to ten at the forty-five. I think that's the first play of the Mavericks run on offense if it didn't gain any yards. I think you're correct. Second down to ten. 
Need a big stop. Will Sullivan over center. Here comes Fox on a blitz. We had a blitz. We had a blitz run on. And uh, just tough luck. We blitzed to the wrong side. They handed off opposite. And uh, big first down for Demopolis. Eighteen yards, eight on the point by Roger Jacobs. Colton Bradford with a tackle. First and ten, Demopolis at the twenty-six yard line. Man, they're not doing anything. Yeah, they're not doing anything fancy. There's a clock on the play. That's got to be on them. They got to get one this quarter. We, we've had about five. Back them up a little bit. We need a break, for real. You know, we just need something good to happen. And uh, we could hold this thing down right here 14 to nothing and get a good break, get a turnover, get something right, big to happen now, right here. We can get back in this ball game pretty quick. On the offense, a five yard penalty. First and 15 at the 31. First. Yeah, we got first down at 15. Need a good stop right here. Good stop. Come on, guys. Demopolis about to call a play, looks over to the side to get Coach Causey again. We got movement again. Here's a flag on the play. Maybe they'll start helping us out a little bit here. And I think 80, yeah, 84 looked like he'd come across the line of scrimmage, and he did. That's what he did, number 84. Yeah, number 84, Brock five Montgomery. Offside on the offense, a five-yard penalty. Wide receiver. Defense will get a little bit fine. Well, I'll tell you what. It ain't going to get much better than this right here for us to stop the first and 20. Hold him right here. They're spread out. Got a running back. Quarterback's running the option. He pitches it. That's a pretty good tackle right there. Oh, he let him go. Aaron Box made a good move. Got a hold of him right where he's supposed to, and he broke a tackle. Still, Darrell, looks like we're getting a little bit more active. Nelson Brown with a tackle. Second and 14 at the 30. Tell you what, Nelson Brown, uh, he's having a pretty good game down on the line. He's 6'1", 292 pounds. He just came about seven or eight yards across the middle of the field to make a tackle there. Last play. Fox is blitzing again. We got an option left. He's going to throw it. Oh, he just wore it. Yep, he beat him. Yep. Sure did. Yeah, Parker Dare built on that. He did on that out route, and uh, they ran the wheel. Quarterback made a great fake, and uh, we bit on that out pattern. He turned and ran the wheel, got us turned around. He was wide open for a touchdown. I wonder if he thought he was going to have some help over the top. I don't know. But it wasn't there. It wasn't there. And, uh, Not to the end of the first quarter yet. It's 20 to nothing. Demopolis, extra point pending. It's going to be 21 to nothing. Yeah, I can promise you we're a little shell shock right now. And, uh, we just got the ball and get something, something good's got to happen. It's, uh, it's one of the things where you just tell your kids, hey, we're not playing very well. We've done that some pride. And uh, the hard work you put in early in the year, in the preseason. Uh, it's disheartening to come out in the opening game, be down 21 to nothing uh, in the first quarter. But uh, I tell you, Darrell, to be honest with you, that was a nice play by Demopolis, but, you know, we gave them seven on the punt. They blocked the punt. Points on the scoreboard tonight so far. We need some of our uh, first night on the AHSAA network. Broadcasting American Christian. We're going to be doing this on the home game this year. Dr. Dan Clark has got us this uh, with the goal of uh, uh, televising and streaming all of our high school athletic events. Another short kick, and we didn't get to it. Oh, 
here too. He called it the Mopless Ball. They got it for one out of bounds. We got to make that adjustment now. That, they've done that every time. That's the fourth kickoff that we've had over there. We got a young, we got a ninth grader over there in that spot, Cameron McBride, and uh, he just. First and 10, at the 34. He's got to go up there and get that thing. Parker Dare came up there and got the last one and made a real good play on it. But, you know, here again, we're down 21 to nothing. We're giving Demopolis the ball back on the 34-yard line. First down and 10, Demopolis. Just mistakes are killing the Patriots tonight. Right. Dive right up the middle. Nice tackle by Stevie Jones. Number three steps up. And, you know, we make that tackle. They're still getting six and seven yards every time down the field. Yeah, Roderick Davis is hitting that hole quick. He's a good-looking running back. Seven yards gained on the play. You know, the Mopas, the word out is that they're uh, – not going to be as strong as they had in years past. They're very young, but you look down their roster, they got a lot of young players. He's very athletic, very gifted. And uh, it's number six right here when he runs. Tell you what, if you don't put a if you don't put a helmet on him, he's gone. That's another touchdown to Mopless. Right I don't think we even slowed him down. 5'10", 173 pounds. Pullback is just eating us up. We're not tackling. Big holes. AC page, ACA page, we're just reeling tonight. We just, we never have locked in and got going. And it don't look like the Moppers is going to slow down and let us get started. Twenty-eight to nothing, Demopolis. Eighteen seconds left in the first quarter. You know, Darrell, it's uh, we're talking about this is our first year to stream live on the AHSAA network. It's a great thing to be able to do this to put all of our high school sports out there. Uh, you know, our football team for people who might be watching and hadn't seen us this year, really young. We lost, uh, I think, 14 seniors last year on a team that went to the Final Four. And we're not making excuses for them at all, but we just got a lot of young guys out there playing some, uh, playing some spots. And in the first game of the year here at home and nervous, uh, we've just made some mistakes and hopefully we're not going to continue making as the, uh, as the year goes on. They're going to kick that ball over there on that 30-yard line again. And they, uh, they've, they've put J.T. Heights over there. Uh, number 25, they moved J.T. Height, the sophomore, over to that spot. You see, he's got to come up and catch that. That's, that's that was a play. smart play. He called that's a fair a great play. That's a great play by uh, J.T. Height. Uh, takes a lot of concentration to catch that ball. So you feel like you're fixing to get hit. First and 10. Up a 38. But you know, the little, uh, our little Cameron McBride was over there to start with. Well, he's a ninth grader. So we're going to, hey, we're going to put some experience in. So we put in a 10th grader. And, and uh, you know, it is. It is a young team. I think we have a. Well, now, we're better than we're showing right now. Coach Smelly hasn't been able to get in any kind of groove with his offensive play calling because we just made so many mistakes and so many little silly turnovers that he hasn't been able to get any rhythm with his play calling. And I think we will. There's just nothing there. There's nothing there. We're getting whipped up front. We're going the wrong way tonight in the first quarter. We need this first quarter to get over with. And there it is right there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. The first quarter is over here at Patriot Field tonight. American Christian Academy. The first quarter. The good guys are down 28 to nothing at the end of the first quarter. Demopolis has come in. They're running back number six, Roderick Davis, 5'10 junior. Uh, probably has close to 75 to 85 yards here in the first quarter. 
Uh, American Christian has turned the ball over several times. A block punt for a uh, for a touchdown. Uh, a, 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 not a bad toss back for a sweep, but we fumbled the sweep and uh, had about a 35-yard loss. And we recovered the ball on the two-yard line. We've had uh, what six penalties in the first quarter and uh, some big penalties. I mean, we've had some. Uh, we had a roughing. Uh, personal foul penalty that would have really helped us because Demopolis had a face mask penalty, but we got them offsetting. I tell you what's exciting tonight is hearing our band over here. The first time ever the ACA American Christian Academy band is going to be performing tonight at halftime. And uh, excited about that. And boy, even though we're down 28 to nothing, they're having a good time over there. They sound great. Heather Henson is the uh, band director. She does a magnificent job. And uh, she's done a great job. Austin Mullenbrock's back. He's got plenty of time. Got to get rid of it. Oh, that needs to be a flat on. Yeah, that was, that was a late hit. Austin Mullenbrock's out of bounds. Third and 12 to 36. You know, Austin's coming off an injury. He got hurt. Uh, in the way, well, actually got hurt in basketball practice last year with a shoulder injury and just started able to throw the ball back in June or July. Our backup quarterback, Cade Young and Caleb Squires. Uh, Cade Drell's your son. He is going into the ninth grade. Caleb Squires is the ninth grader. We're just really young, but Austin Mullenbrock could have got hurt right there. That was a late hit. They missed that one. Yeah, Down he was. To nothing. We ought to get that call for sure. Boy, they're coming oh, from everywhere. He never had a chance. Never had a chance. They had the blitz on from uh, from the left side, and Mullenbrock never had a prayer. You've got to pick up that outside blitz. Six short walk on the play. Tyrell Barnett with the tackle. Fourth and eighteen at the thirty. I tell you, I'd hate to see our yardage for the first quarter. Hate to see the stats. It's a very a good punt. Kick by Connor Thigpen. My Lord, that's fair a caught at the 30-yard line. Thigpen, probably the highlight for ACA tonight. That was a uh, what was that? I've got to get used to calling these yards out, Darrell. That's a uh, about a 45-yard punt. It was beautiful. Connor Thigpen, beautiful. No yeah. return. First great, and ten at the 32. Great spin on it. Great turn. And uh, Demopolis could do nothing but call a, a fair catch. Hey, and this is uh. Best situation we've been in since the start of the game. The Moppets is starting on their own 31-yard line. Uh, that's probably the worst field position they've had tonight. They got trips out to the uh, to the left with the tight end slot and receiver, and sending the guy in motion strong this way. And but they're still coming right up the middle. Now that's the first time. I tell you. That is a great defensive play. They saw it coming, stopped them for almost no game. Off the bottom, we had some big guys down there making some hits. That was Austin Hallman getting off the bottom. Austin Hallman with the tackle. That was a nice play. Austin Hallman whipped his man coming there, made a great tackle, head, head on helmet, and uh, made a great strong tackle. See, the Moppets has got a very strange uh, formation here with five guys to the left and they're just running it up oh there. great play Out there Nelson Brown that's the way to look guys now we got them going the right way moving them back now I'm gonna tell you now as an old ball coach one of the things that you can take out of something being down 28 to nothing is when your guys are playing hard and get after it a four yard walk on the play tackled by Nelson Brown kind of got to like that old Nelson Brown made some nice There's plays here tonight People that don't know Nelson, he's an outstanding student, 4.1, 4.2 GPA. We call him Hoss. Weighs right at 300 pounds. Great feet, great hands. Uh, on Ball's the on the ground. They Quarterback fumble. picks they it up. It. Ah, we got a tackle. Oh. Now, Logan Elliott. Helmet comes flying. Logan Elliott just made one of the hardest hits that I've seen in high school football in a long, long time. Darrell, that's, that was a, a clean 
hard hit right there. There was nothing wrong with that hit at all. Just a nice, solid form tackle. I bet you Tyler Oates will make sure he's got his chin strap fast a little bit Tyler next time he comes out on the play. Now, number six, I'm sorry, Darrell. Number six, four, Logan Elliott, a 12th grader, 6'3", 267 pounds. Uh, just made one heck of a play at a tackle. And uh, that was a good adjustment for the defense. And for the first time tonight, we've got a punt yes, from was. the Mopples. The Mopples. For the first time, Parker Dare's got a chance to return it. Oh, and he the drops the ball. Looks like the Mopples has it. We do have a flag on the play. There's a flag on the play. Now, they've not called it Demopolis' ball yet. And they haven't told us what the flag is. So they're spotting the ball right there. Looks like it might be on Demopolis. Let's see what we got here. No, nah, it's holding on us on the punt. We fumbled. Demopolis has the football. Lord, have mercy. We've been going for ACA tonight. Yeah, we finally we just, get something uh, good, and we give it back to them. Made them punt on fourth and 14. Put the ball on the ground. Fumble on the play, recovered by Demopolis. Penalty on the Patriots is declined. First Hopefully our defense 36. is up to the tap. First down and 10, Demopolis is spread out again, 36 in motion. Now our, our defensive line is starting to whip them. We are, uh, our defensive line is starting to make a hold here and uh, kind of getting used to what's going on here with the Mopples. Like the 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 no, it looks like we're starting to stun a little more with those gaps. Now you can see the gap between the left guard and the left tackle. There's a pass. He's wide open. Um, it's going to be third down and one. Um, Guy's wide open over the middle. He uh, just found a hole in that zone coverage and just sat there waiting on the ball. Cole Campbell came up pretty quick. Number 27 came up pretty quick to guard the flat. Third down and one, Demopolis did a great time to hold him. They're going to run that ball right up the gut. Got a big gap right up the middle. Aaron Box, 42, is going to step in there and and uh, put a helmet on somebody right here. You see that middle right there, Darrell? They're going to they gonna come right up that gap in the middle. Yep. And, and uh, he fumbled. He faked it. Well, let me tell you, that quarterback did a great job because I thought he handed it off. I did, too. That was an excellent, excellent fake. I'll tell you what, Coach Call, Tom calls. He made a good call right there. Uh, I, for one, thought they were going to run the ball right up that gap in the middle. And uh, we had the lineman there to make the play. The Unfortunately, we had nobody home around the nobody home opposite side of the field. Tough night for ACA. 34 to nothing in the second quarter with 7:36 to go. Um, Demopolis makes the kick. 35 to nothing. Demopolis with seven minutes to go in the first half. And. Uh, Just not a whole lot to say tonight other than we've just made a lot of mistakes. And uh, Demopolis, as you got to give Demopolis credit, uh, every single mistake we've made, they've made us pay. Definitely capitalizing on our mistakes. Had a rainy week with the uh, tropical storm coming through. We didn't get near as much rain as we thought we did, but. It's our second year to, to have the turf, and uh, it'll hold up to 10 inches of rain and still have excellent playing conditions. Beautiful field, a beautiful facility here at American Christian. One, one, I think one of the best environments for high school football. Has a nice patio over to the left where a lot of the students go. Has a large visitor section with concessions on that side, and of course a large home section with concessions. Just not a better playing condition, playing field, and uh, around Tuscaloosa County, state of Alabama, than this turf. The 
Well, I think that's a pretty good call. We got JT Heitch over there again, number 25, and they've also moved John Roberts over here to this side. Uh, try to get some senior leadership over here. Official timeout on the field. Well, we're wanting the first quarter to get over with. We need to hurry up and get to halftime. I uh, I don't know. If I don't know what Coach Causey's halftime speech will be, but we need to get in there and regroup. We do need to go back to the draw. Celebrating a little bit too hard over in the end zone, hurt her leg. Yeah, I see that cheerleader now, Darrell. You're right, Demopolis cheerleader. Are they doing push-ups for every point they scored? Because if they're doing that, well, let me tell you, but if she's doing back handsprings for every point, she'll be down there at Walmart here for too long. At 35 and nothing, she'll be down there at the new Full Moon and Krispy Kreme down there on uh, McFarland. Looks like she's all right. Looks like she hurt her ankle. Hope she's all right. We'll pray she's okay. Another great kick. I tell you, that's a tough kick. Oh, flag. There you go. Hey, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys something. Uh, that's as good a short kickoff as I've ever seen because they're kicking it right out about 12 or 13 yards. And if that guy don't come up and make that play and he's got seven guys around him, and he knows he's fixing to get hit or he's not supposed to, but you think you are, uh, that's a tough play. Just, and JT Heitch is, the last two times has made great plays. Number 25, he's just a sophomore, and uh, they're leaving him in there at fullback, and they put Austin Aikens back in there at uh, uh, tailback. Now, I will say this, it does look like, and it's hard to, hard to say this, down 35 to nothing, but it does look like our line is starting to make some progress. Cut that thing up. Ain't much there, brother. Yeah, we're, we're, we're getting there way too slow. We're just not hitting those holes. We're just not getting there. Uh, the, uh, the, the speed that the Mopus has and the uh, linebacker in the secondary, they're just closing. Uh, I think there's some sort of hole there, but you got to get there awful quick to get it. I think we're going to throw the football down 35 and done. Of course, the way we've turned it over. Here's a pass. Well, Mullenbrock runs a draw to Sean Blackburn, 47. Runs hard. Gets about five yards. Austin Hallman blocking about 12 yards down the field. Uh, number 54 for Demopolis. Now, let, let's, let's brag on Austin Hallman. 54, Hollis Bright, weighs 308 pounds. Austin Hallman just blocked him about 15 yards. No, uh, 54 there, he jawing a little bit. We'll see what happens now because old Austin got the best of him right there. 35 and the 37. Austin is one of those kids, he works hard. He's been a hard worker ever since he's been here and it's paid off for him. Mullenbrock back in the pistol with Sean Blackburn, 47 behind him. Mullenbrock's back to throw and has plenty of time and hits Aaron Box. Uh, that's a catch. That's a catch and he's down. He's down on his knees when he caught it. We can show them on instant replay. He was on his knees when he caught it. That's a first down ACA, first one of the night. First down on Harrison Christian. Well, I will tell you this now. I like, you know, being a basketball coach, so referees. Yeah, we have a lot of discussions, but that was a good job of officiating right there. They got together, and all three of them talked about it and came up with the right call. Sometimes they don't do that. That was a good job officiating by the crew here. It was. They did. It. Austin Mullenbrock under center again. Got Aaron Box in motion with J.T. Heights and Sean Blackburn on a sweep. J.T. Heights leading Blackburn. Yeah. 
Well, John Roberts, I call him JR. Three yard gain on the play. Great Three athlete. Seven for the 26. Timeout, on the field. Got a timeout on the field. Looks like a referee's timeout. Uh, did, Darrell, did you see Demopolis call that, or was that? I saw the referee go my time. Must be a, uh, must be. Going back to talk about John Roberts. John Roberts, a senior last year with Austin Grammer, quarterback. And I think John Roberts, J.R., was our number one receiver last year, or was close to it. We had Parker Barano, Kyle Sappington, Hudson Kane. Uh, all three of those guys playing college football now. And John Roberts uh, uh, was a go-to guy last year uh, for Austin Grammer. Had a lot of great catches through the year, a lot of highlight catches. Good athlete. Excellent basketball player, was a great baseball player before he quit playing baseball and uh, concentrating on football this year. But excellent receiver, good speed, good hands. And uh, I know they want to get him the football as much as they can. He hasn't got a hold of it much tonight. Mullenbrock back in the pistol going long for JR. That's interference. And that's a touchdown by John Roberts, right on cue. Boy, I like it when you brag on them in the, in the next play. Isn't that great? Oh, John Roberts made a great play right there. Great catch by John Roberts. Connor Thickpin coming on for the extra point. Woo, Darrell, it's about time something good happened for us. Austin Mullenbrock, number 12, on the hold. Aaron Box snapping. Connor Thickpin, who has done an outstanding job punting the football tonight on for his first PT of the year, and straight through the uprights into the woods. ACA has answered. Well, I think you... I, um... We got Mike Mills in here with us. And Mike's been around ACA football for a long time, Darrell. Chris, Chris Smelly's one of those guys that uh, I can promise you when he was here, he called a lot of his own plays and checked off. And the one thing he hasn't had a chance to do uh, tonight, Mike, is, is Chris hasn't been able to get in any kind of rhythm in our offense because of our, uh, our fumbles and our turnovers and our penalties. That's the first time we've had the ball and got a couple of, 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 of plus plays where he could actually run something. That's correct, Greg. And also, when you keep fumbling the ball and making mistakes like we made, it's just very difficult to be able to get any kind of rhythm going. Uh, Democus is a 5A school. They have more athletes, a little bigger, a little faster, and they definitely don't need any help that we're giving them tonight to, uh, to be up 35-7. to 7. I think uh, y'all would agree that this game is a little bit closer than the score indicates at this time. We have given them tremendous opportunities to score and just now it seems like we may be getting a little bit of rhythm and if we can hold them uh, after we kick off two of them here and uh, maybe even be asking too much to score. make a little bit of a game out of it. Yeah, it really, to be honest with you, 21-7 would be, be a score right now that I think would be fair the way we played though. That's an onside kick. We're going to get, oh, that kid uh, that made a great kid. play. I, I love that call. I love that call. And just a little bit, uh, little bit further down the field, and that might have paid off for us. That was a great onside kick by Connor Thigpen. Dur a Mike or Darrell, I couldn't see who that was. One of our kids came, came right through there and just missed the ball. It might have been Stevie Jones. Uh, I think he, it was Cameron McBride, number Is that who it was? Cameron McBride, ninth grader. Uh, he, he almost got that ball. Well, we, we our, our defensive line might last two or three series been whipping Demopolis. Uh, Harry Stokes, Logan Elliott going right up the middle. See, we got a little, uh, they got three yards on that play, but you can see now we're getting a little penetration on that defensive line. Ah. It, re it reminds you a lot of Oregon. That's the only team that I can knock in, in college. Oregon does that. You know, they're, they're guarding their tackles. I mean, look how far away the tackle is from the center. What we've started doing is shooting those gaps and getting some penetration and blowing them up. 
Now, you know what Demopolis is going to do. They fix to start throwing the ball downfield, but I, I think we got them, you know, got them, at least they're doing something they don't want. Oh, that's a great play right there. Great play there. Austin. Man, number 23, Austin Akins came across that line. That's how we need him to run that football when he gets to the tailback. He came straight down the line to make that tackle coming from the cornerback position. We had a, a run blitz on. Third down. Eight from the 47. Third down and eight from the 47. Man, this would be a big play right here. We definitely need to come up with a stop. We would, uh, we would be in a... Uh, Great shape right here. We got 36 in motion for Demopolis. They're in the shotgun. They're running the option. With the option. Kick. We got guys out there, and uh, it looks like we stopped them short. Gonna be close. Gonna be close. Oh. Gonna be a penalty on somebody. Looks like uh, number 59 from Demopolis got a little bit too excited. Austin Holman with the tackle. 59 for a, for Demopolis. Uh, Seemed like he was way downfield. Uh, that's the big kid, Corey James. Yeah, you're right, Darrell. Corey James was way downfield. Got a hold of old Stevie Jones over there, linebacker number three, and just kind of went after it a little too much. Stevie took great offense to that. We and uh, I was going to back him up another 15 yards. Now let's, uh, let's brag on Stevie Jones. Stevie Jones is one of them now. I don't care if that guy weighs 315 pounds. Oh, Stevie going to go up and pop him now. He's uh take anything. Yeah, he's one of those guys that's not going After to uh death, not going to back down. And it's been a clean game. ACA and uh, Demopolis both. Uh, it's been a clean game. Both sides have been off. Uh, showing a lot of class uh, tonight. Uh, Demopolis brought a good crowd. And uh, we we got number problems. Uh, guys coming in and off the field. We had to use a third timeout again. The second time we've had to use a timeout. On the field, by American Christian. Looks like Parker there didn't know that it was fourth down. They were punting a little bit late getting on the field. Forcing John Causey to call his final timeout of the half. Don't, don't know what happened right there. But we're out of timeouts here in the first half. We got a little momentum going now. Demopolis four and, fourth and 16. What we really need is a block punt or them to snap it over their head. I don't wish for anything bad to happen, but well, we need all the help we can get right now to get back in this game. And uh, Stevie Jones made a great tackle. Austin Aikens come in and made a great tackle on the possession before that. And our, the front line is really going to work down there. I, I thought before the game we'd have an advantage on the line, and we've made so many mistakes. The Moppets took advantage of it, but oh, Nelson Brown, Logan Elliott, Will Sullivan, Harry Stokes, uh, Austin Hallman starting to go to work there. And uh, uh, looks like we're making some headway there. Now, I'll tell you, a, a kid that uh, has played a little bit more, uh, hadn't noticed him before now, is number 14, Colton Bradford. Colton Bradford's been in the game quite a bit. He's a 10th grader, playing linebacker. Good snap. We go after the block. Pretty good punt. Parker's going to have to let that one go. Uh, out of bounds on about the 13-yard line. Oh, that was a, definitely a generous spot. For Demopolis, no. Coming back up, ooh, 11 yard line. Yeah, that was a that was a generous spot. But he's sitting right there by it, so we'll take his word for it. And it went down on the first down, uh, American Christian. At the 11 yard line. Hey, I tell you what, Darrell, we'll take it at the 11 yard line. That's a lot better than uh, Demopolis getting seven. It and, sure uh, is. This is another good stop from the ACA defense. If we'll just quit turning the ball over, we can get back in this game. It's a uh, I don't know if we can come back and win the game, but I think we can come back and make it interesting. Austin Mullenbrock under center with J.T. Heights and Austin Akins at tailback. Looks like we're going to run the ball to the left side. A nice oh, that hole. was a nice hole, and he Austin hit Aikens. it going quick, too, running full speed downhill. Austin Akins, the last two times we have called his name, it's been because he has uh, done something great. I, on defense, he shot down the line and made that tackle. Now we, we made fun and kidded him about not running hard. And, uh, that's how you hit a hole right there. He hit that hole with some authority. That was a great play, too, by Aaron Box after going in motion to step in and seal that hole off to give Austin some good room to run. Well, Austin Mullenbrock under center again. Aaron Box in motion. Going back the other way, Mullenbrock's going to hand it to Aikens again. Aikens straight ahead, nothing there, gets a yard or two. 
But he's running the football awful hard now. Austin Aikens, number 23. Austin's a junior, 5'9", 155 pounds. Uh, been playing tailback here at ACA since the seventh grade. Remember him uh, playing in middle school with an excellent running back. And uh, now that John Major Davis is uh, gone, taking over the role there at tailback. And uh, last two runs have looked uh, look like he's here to play. Looks like we're getting some of this nervousness out of the way. And can we start the game over? We could start it over about seven to seven. I think it would help us. It would indeed. Austin Mullenbrock under center, fakes the ball to Aikens. He's going long again to John Roberts. Overthrew him. He's wide open. Uh, I tell you what. Mullenbrock pass, Denver John Roberts incomplete. Tommy Wilson in coverage for Demopolis. Chris Smelly starting to get a feel for John Roberts out here. Uh, I don't know that they can. I don't know that they can cover John. Uh, the good two steps on the guy trying to throw would have been on target. He would have been going to the house with another six for the Well, great thing for John is he's got great leaping ability and uh, he's long arm. Uh, he's a great rebounder in basketball. He just go up and get balls you wouldn't think he could get. If you can get the ball close to him, he'll go up and get it. And I just don't think five can uh that's our best defensive back. I don't think he can cover it. Mullenbrock, we got a split in the backfield from the shotgun. Mullenbrock throwing blitz. We pick up the blitz, makes a nice throw over to Roberts for a first down. JR did a great job making sure he was across first the first down. down. Tell you, that was a great throw. Outstanding throw by number 12, oh, Austin Mullenbrock. Oh, 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 to John Roberts, 11 yards gained on the play. First and 10 Patriots at the 36. That Austin, out route is a hard route to defend. It is, and Austin's handled himself well tonight. The turnovers that we have have not been by his fault. And uh, he's handled the team well. And it uh, looks like they're starting to get on a little row here. He's back under center. Snout from Austin Hallman to Austin Mullenbrock. Fakes the ball. He gives it to Austin Akins on a draw. And Austin, Austin Akins puts his head down and uh, runs over number 25 as he makes a tackle for Demopolis. Uh, number 25, Wesley Anderson, a senior, 6'187. But, uh, but I'll tell you what. Four yards gained on the play by Austin, Austin Aikens. Aikens challenged him. Wesley Anderson with the tackle. 25 met the challenge. Well, it's nice to see him. Tailback at this time just runs straight into that linebacker standing there waiting well, on him. Like, he won the battle. He went down. He, he should have won the late to hit. Looks like we're finding a little identity here on offense. Coach Smelly run that thing right there. Get down, get down, get down. Mullen Brock gets a first down to the 50 yard line. Stops the clock with one minute and 23 seconds. I tell you, with 123 left in the half, I'm sure that Coach Causey wishes he had at least one of those timeouts left. Well, don't you know Coach Smelly every once in a while just wants to go take a snap? Don't you think he'd like to run that two-minute drill here for for just a, uh, just a few seconds? Good. Austin Mullenbrock in the pistol with Austin Akins, who's played great here in the second quarter. He's back to throw again, looking for Aaron Box. A little in. We got a flag on the play. Mullenbrock looks like he's hurt. Mullenbrock's, uh, maybe he's all right. We got a flag. I hope that's defensive holding. I hope is what it is. I don't know what else it could be. I think it's defensive holding. The illegal oh, man downfield. Man alive. We are just killing ourselves tonight with penalties. Illegal receiver downfield. Uh, don't know where that came from. I didn't see who it was. It have to be a lineman. It's either a lineman or the tight end was covered up. And... I think that's a five-yard penalty. So we're going to be first and 15 for American and Christian. Receiver downfield, a five-yard penalty. First and 15 at the 45. It cost us 13 seconds too, but a minute nine to go in the second quarter. ACA down 35 to seven, but playing much better here the last eight or nine minutes of this quarter. Demopolis has not substituted. Still got all their starters in. Parker Dare comes across on a re reverse, has a little room. And Parker look at Dare that. He has open. found the scene. Parker Dare, number one, the it's 25, be the 20, the 15. He's knocked out of bounds at the eight-yard line. That was a nice first play. Bounce. Hallelujah, no flags on the play. ACA has ran a great play with no flags. And Darrell, we're starting to turn this thing around here. 
touchdown on the board before halftime. 35-14 is a whole lot better than 35-7. First and goal. First and goal. Looks like the, the eight-yard line. John Roberts is going over in motion to the left side. We're in the pistol again with Austin Mullenbrock, Austin Akins. Parker Dare over to the right after a great reverse and run by Parker Dare. Don't know what that was, but they're going to return it for a touchdown. Number five for the mob. Mullenbrock has an angle on him. Going to turn him in. Can't tackle him. Now you got JT Heights gets blocked. It's going to be a touchdown, but we do have a flag on the play. Look at Logan Elliott. Now you got to admire that right there. Logan Good Elliott, 64, wow. hustling all the way down the field. Lord have mercy. I don't know what play that was, but Dare and uh, Mullenbrock were not on the same uh, were not on the same page. Mullenbrock thought we were running a deep corner. It looked like Dare thought we were running. Uh, uh, I don't know what he thought because he didn't go anywhere. It looked like it was a turnaround. He thought it was going to be some kind of flex screen or something. But we do have a flag on the play. Nobody's. Find it. Did they say what? Here comes the here comes the penalty blocking below chop block. Chop block on ACA, a 103-yard return for a touchdown. When we were starting to get some momentum and turn the game back around, that was a dagger going into halftime with 28 seconds left. The Moppas with a PT will go up 42-7 to at halftime. ACA had turned things around here in the last six minutes, seven minutes of the half, and uh, was fixing to turn into the point after is good by number 14. Jeff Midgerden, 5'10 junior, make it 42 to 7 Demopolis. But Lord have mercy, we were just uh, I mean right there on the eight-yard line, fixing to make this a 35 to 14 game. And as the whole first half has been, Darrell, we make a turnover and uh, give them seven. Are gonna gonna kill them. All night long. It, it killed us. Leading tonight. the points from the 40, 42 to 7 with 28.7 seconds to go in the first half. ACA has was actually turning things around. It was 35 to 7. ACA's on the eight yard line going in and uh, had a miscommunication with the quarterback in the wide out. And uh, quarterback Mullenbrock, 12, uh, throws a corner route. Parker Dare uh, runs a slant route. Um, and number five for Demopolis returns it probably 107 yards. It was pretty deep in the end zone. 107, 108 yard return. Austin Mullenbrock made a made a good attempt to try to tackle him, missed him, had the angle on him, and then uh, a couple other guys got blocked, and he turns it returns it 107 yards. Here comes a kickoff. Looks like this time they're going to the left side with it, and I can't tell who's over on that left side. Uh, can't see the number. They have moved John Roberts over in the back part to see if. Uh, Looks like it's Chase Bowling over there on that side. Yeah, they did a good job. Got it to Roberts. He's going to come up and catch it at the 30. Doing a lot of juking. And I'm just going to tell you right now against the Moffats, if you juking, you ain't going very far. You're not indeed. They are swarming to the football. They, uh, they closed in on the football very well. And uh, you got to, you know, Austin Aiken's done a good job. Last couple of runs, he's putting his head down, hitting the hole. Keyshawn Scott with the tackle. First and 10 at the 32. I would think right here, 42 to 7 going into the first half, we'll take a knee and go in and regroup. But it's heartbreaking. We, we've actually done a lot of things nice tonight other than just mistakes. I tell you, it seems uh, looking down at the sideline at that last play with the turnover for a touchdown took a lot of the wind out of the field. It, it did. I'm thinking you're going to have a touchdown. He's going to run a draw. Almost fumbled the football. Sean Blackburn got a hold of it with two hands. But I would say that we'll go into halftime down 42 to 7. Clock's running. Eight seconds left. They're going to run it down. We'll go into halftime. The Demopolis Tigers have come into Tuscaloosa and uh, capitalized on a numerous ACA turnovers and mistakes tonight. ACA has played hard, but the uh, turnovers and mistakes have just... Uh, have just cost us. And we, 
hey, that has to keep running. That has to keep running the whole time. And we're, we're getting the band and everything, too. That's fine. So this, we, we would move it, but we can't. So our first night on the AHSAA Network, exciting halftime for American Christian, even though we're down 42 to 7 uh, at, at halftime. We're excited tonight. Our move up to 3A football has not been a very good first half. We're going to try and correct that, but we're very excited about having the Demopolis Band with us tonight. And also the first appearance by the American Christian Academy Marching Band on the direction of Heather Henson, who's done a great job at ACA over the last two years, recruiting and developing uh, students within ACA to join the band program. I'm not sure what the number will be tonight, but it's a great number. And uh, for the inaugural appearance of the, uh, of the ACA band, it's going to be great. I think Demopolis band is going to take the field first. Our cheerleaders have went over and made friends with the Demopolis cheerleaders and brought them back over and gotten some water. And uh, Bands are getting ready to perform. One of the great things about moving up to 3A football and most likely 4A football here in a couple of years is that most of the high schools do have bands. And uh, the Demopolis Band is fixing to take the field. You enjoy as we take a little break and let you watch uh, the Demopolis Marching Band.
gentlemen, the American Christian Academy Patriot Band. The band is up in the field of the of Megan Spoof. Brass captain Taylor Morgan Jordan and Woodwind captain Ellie Wright. The band leadership team includes Caitlin Pippins, Micah Miller, and Stuart Fowler. Band director is Heather Henson with band staff members Chris Mossick, Joe Collins, Melissa Fuller, and Corey Sherman. Be sure to visit the Band Boosters table by the ticket booth tonight and find out how you can support this group of students. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the inaugural marching performance of the American Christian Academy Patriot Band. A uh, great performance by both bands in the uh, halftime show, high school dance line, the Mopless Marching Band, and then of course inaugural performance by the American Christian Band. Crowd going crazy here to uh, support the band, and rightfully so. They did a great job, and uh, Heather Henson, as I said earlier, has just done an outstanding job with the band program and the music program here overall. American Christian is uh, blessed to have tons of talented musical kids and uh, it's, it's great to see the marching band, great to see them out here on the field and great to see this crowd uh, just show much appreciation. But I think they understand how hard it is uh, to develop a marching band, to develop a band and a lot of young kids out there, seventh graders, eighth graders, middle school, high schoolers, and they just did an outstanding job. One of the cool things when we were playing 1A and 2A football because a lot of these schools, I remember going to Vincent, and a lot of our ACA people remember this, and the football players, a couple of football players take off their pads, play in the band during the halftime performance. And uh, I always thought that was uh, really a cool thing. That uh, That's really what high school is all about. And uh, maybe down the road we'll do that. We'll have somebody that'll do something like that. I just think that's cool. Again, it's our first night to be streaming live on the AHSAA network. Uh, American Christian Dr. Dan Carden has uh, put together this program and uh, coordinated with the Alabama High School Athletic Association to, uh, to show high school games live for American Christian Academy. Uh, you can watch them live streaming. You can also watch them on YouTube, on your iPad, your iPhone, Android and uh, also their own demand. These football games, this football game tonight will be on demand as soon as the game's over. You'll be able to pull it up on the, A the AHSAA network.com and be able to watch the replay of the game. And uh, hopefully the second half will give something a little bit more uh, to cheer about and watch. But I thought our guys played really hard. Uh, Darrell, we uh, talk about the first half a little bit. I hadn't got the official stats, but we had eight or nine penalties had three turnovers, and two of those turnovers, uh, the block punt and the interception, 107 yard return, led directly to uh, 14 points for Demopolis. There has definitely not been a whole lot of good to talk about from the part of ACA in tonight's ball game so but, far. But did, I, I thought that there with about eight or nine minutes to go in the second quarter, we started making a really good push on our defensive line and our offensive line. Austin Aiken started running the ball really hard. Coach Smelly, we finally got some positive plays so Coach Smelly could run a few plays that I know he'd been wanting to run, uh, but we never had gotten in a rhythm where he could really call and, and branch out and call anything. But, uh, and then that, the interception with 28 seconds to go in the first half is just, I thought it was a great call. This uh, heard from the coaches, the receiver, and the quarterback miscommunicated. Receiver thought he called one route. And uh, he ran another one, and, uh, you know, that's high school football. Kids go make mistakes. Uh, but it was a costly one because it was 35-7. to 7. We're on the eight-yard line going in. We're going to make it 35-14 going into halftime. Momentum is, you know, was really in our favor at that time. That's right. Going into half down 35 points versus 21 points. Yeah. It's a whole lot of difference. It's a big deal. and 14-point uh, turnaround. Yeah, and Demopolis gets the ball to start the second half. So, you know, they're up 42-7. to seven and, and, uh, and, again, I thought that we played better than they did the last 10 minutes of the, the first we half. We did. We, 
we, we moved the ball well. We played well on defense, but if it's just the mistakes that we keep making that are keeping us out of having any kind of momentum in this game. Beautiful night here in Tuscaloosa. We've had some uh, we've had some rain and all during the week, uh, but today we had a little bit of rain around four o'clock, three thirty-four. Had a had a pretty big shower, uh, but the, the field is in great condition. As we said before, this turf, sports turf, will hold up to ten inches of rain and be in excellent playing condition. Uh, both teams have had uh, really not a problem with uh, any any uh, slick spots or wet spots or anything like that. It's been a uh, pretty good time with that. We're going to let Mike Mills come in and join us, uh, Darrell and I, uh, Darrell Young, uh, myself, Greg Crow, and uh, now Mike Mills join us for halftime, talk about the game a little bit. Mike, what did you think uh, What did you think about the first half? Well, before I get in the first half, Greg, I just want to let you know I was coming up the ramp from off the field a while ago and uh, saw Tom Causey. I know Tom pretty well, and I said, look, buddy, I said, you need to take it easy. He just kind of laughed. I think he's kind of... Uh, in a good mood right now. I guess I would be too. It's 42 7 halftime Demopolis, and here at ACA in the last, especially the last couple of years, we've been used to that score being the opposite way where we're ahead 42 7 at halftime. So we'll see how our players respond. I think it's very important that they keep playing hard, and uh, coaches hopefully have been upbeat with them and communicating that the mistakes is, for the most part, why we are where we are. Yeah, you know, as a coach, uh, me being a basketball coach, and I love football, but all you can do at halftime is a game like that is you, you can't get on your kids. I mean, they don't want to be down 42 to 7. They've had some bad mistakes. You just, you got to learn from it. Now, you know, you, you can't, you can't honestly go in and tell them that you think you're going to come back and win this game. But what you want to build on is that you want to build on character and you want to build on hard work and you want to work, you know, you want to, you want to be positive about the things you've done well and just tell the guys it's a long year and uh, we'll fix the things that have went wrong, but we, we got to play better in the second half and challenge them just to play better. And I, I think John will do that. John does a great job with that. The kids love him. Coach Smelly, Coach Smallwood, we got a great staff down there. Uh, I think they'll do that, but I don't think Demopolis is going to let off. Hey guys, let's face it, you know, uh, Officially, we moved up to 3A this year, but for tonight, we are definitely playing 5A football, no doubt. We are, and, and you know, Mike, people say, and our, our team last year, uh, no, no, uh, no throw off on this year's team, but our team last year was laden with seniors uh, and, and several college players. Uh, we had size, a lot of these guys that are on the line now played last year and were younger, but uh, you know, we had the manpower and the age and the experience to play 5A against five, we beat a 6A team last year. But but now we're dealing with younger guys. Uh, you know, and I think a lot of these young guys have done well. I've been very impressed with Austin Mullenbrock. I think he's handled himself well. He's been under control in the game. He's not he's not done anything uh, to hurt the team, and he's done several things to help the team. That's what you want if you know, if Nick Saban, if you can be Nick Saban, you know, you always hear him say about McElroy and A.J. McCarron, they just don't want him to turn the ball over and make positive plays. Well, Mullenbrock has done that tonight. Makes, as Darrell said, made a great out throw, which is a hard throw. He's definitely a good composer in the pocket. Well, Connor Thickpen's had a busy night, mostly punting. Uh, he's punting the ball about six times in the first half. Uh, he's ready to kick off. Be our second kickoff of the night as Demopoulos receives up 42 to 7 in the first half. A little short kick to the 23 yard line. He fair catches the ball. Not a very good signal. And he's Uh, Coach calls. He's very, very upset that uh, there's not a penalty flag thrown. Uh, I feel his pain. The guy, he, uh, they had a blocker here on about 45-yard line, getting after Parker Dare a little, little late. And uh, you know, that's one of those things that uh, they're probably not going to call that start the second half. You know, go have first down and ten for Demopolis. And I'm going to tell you, you would think that Demopolis, you know, you say, well, why don't they put in their substitutes? The score is not indicative of the game. It's been a tough game. And, uh, you know, they got starting quarterback number 11 in. They're running number six, and I don't blame them. And, uh, oh, there's a fumble on the play. We got it. 
ACA Sean Blackburn came up and laid a hit on number six. First time tonight we've called Sean's name. He's been kind of quiet, but now that right there, he stuck him. Guys, I will tell you, we get the ball right there, and uh, a lot of ifs, kind of like golf, uh, a lot of ifs, but uh, we get that ball there, and we get back on top of this thing and maybe get in the groove a little bit. Well, we've had a lot of those tonight, haven't we? A lot of ifs, but but I, I, I'm really happy with the way the guys are playing. I really think they've done some, all right, coming around the outside, Blackburn turns him in, makes a good play. Aaron Box uh, was in position to make the tackle. Number one kind of bounces off of him. Uh, Colton Bradford comes in, number 14, and helps assist Box. And Sean Blackburn made an excellent play right there. Austin Aikens with a tackle, 35 at the 30. I'd kind of hate to be this young guy on the, on the sideline over here. He's uh, missing a lot of holding calls, it seems. Yeah, like. I'd, very uh, frustrated. But hey, that's part of it. It is. And uh, this is their first, you know, that's what you got to remember about officials, too. It's their first game, too. And. Uh, we got a young official here on this side, and I know Coach Causey's been in his ear a little bit, and uh, rightfully so. He's missed a few calls, but, uh, you know, again, Mark Godfrey told me one time about basketball. Officiating's part of the game. They don't win and lose, and, 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 and no money there. broken play. Aaron Box makes here's a great Rob. tackle. Forcing the punt. Aaron That's huge, the way this game's been going. You come out here and stop Demopolis on the first drive. Aaron Box. Aaron, Aaron, Box. Aaron Box made a great play. Logan Elliott made a great play. Slid in there and uh, a broken play by Demopolis. Probably one of the first mistakes they've made all night. But now they've come out and laid the ball on the ground and then had a uh, play. That's a great punt. Parker Dare won back. And uh, there's nowhere to go. There, one, two, three, six. Demopolis Tigers waiting for Parker to catch that ball. That's a ball he probably needs to fair catch. Yeah. Great, great start of the first half, guys. Getting the ball on about our own 32. Uh, go down here and score would be just huge for the guys. I think that's the third straight possession that we've, hold, we've held uh, Demopolis to a punt. And uh, that's pretty good because we hadn't done that much. Got Nelson Brown and Will Sullivan, Austin Hallman, Harry Stokes uh, on the line. Big Logan Elliott on the left tackle. Aaron Box in motion. We're going to hand the ball off to Sean Blackburn. He runs hard, but he meets number 25. And I'm going to tell you guys, 25, he comes up and plugs up a hole. We've called his name a few times. That's a Wesley Anderson, a senior. Well, Mr. Anderson is playing like a senior. He's uh, definitely taking the lick to us on that play. He uh, – Sean Blackburn hit that hole hard. I thought Sean, uh, Sean got after it pretty good right there. But uh, number 25 met him head on and pushed him back a little bit. You know, Mr. Uh, Anderson there, only six foot 187, but he's a, he's a stout six foot 187 and uh, looks like he's not scared of contact in any way, shape, or form. Austin Mullenbrock. Passing the football, he gets out of the pocket. No gain on the play. Um, I don't think that's what we're looking for. No gain on the play. Peyton Pearson with the tackle. Just nowhere to go right there. You need to make that player throw it out of bounds. Down to third and eight for the American Christian Patriots. This might be a John Roberts time, Greg, right sure, here. Sure, he's spread out. He's in one-on-one -on -one coverage. He's coming up to bump him and try to keep him on uh, the line of scrimmage. Roberts gets through. Uh, he's holding him. He's wide open, but we, we can't block. So we just slow, slow uh, developing play. Uh, yeah, Roberts was, Roberts was being held. All the way down the field, we got to overcome those things, and you know that's 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 part of sports, learning the adversity of it. And here we go again. We're in punt. We, we're having trouble getting some of these young guys on the field. Number 17, Grayson Nolan, comes in late. He's a junior, but uh, that's a pretty good pickup. J.T. Heights has done a lot of little things right tonight. Good punt by Thigpen. That's a block in the back. They missed. 
They got it's it right here, the alt button. We're going to tag on the yardage for us here. Got another one. Got two flags on the play. I know we got a block in the back over here. Uh, flag at the 40 yard line. Either one of you guys see that flag over I didn't see the one on the far side. The Either a little block or face mask. Well, that'd be good. Maybe offsetting. I don't know. We'll see. Just a second. The way our night's been going, they're probably both on us. And that's not a fault of the refereeing. It's just that we've committed a lot of fouls tonight, a lot of penalties. And we do have a block in the back on the free point. It looks like they're both going to be on the mockers. Block in the back. Yeah, we'll take that. That would be a... Uh, They're going to take it from the spot that, that uh, gives us the best advantage. So there so wasn't two flags on the play. That was there a... were two flags. You had two block in the back penalty. Okay. At 38 and then another one at the 45. They give us the one that happened at the 38, which backs the golfers up to the 29 and a half. First and 10 to Mopolis at the 29-yard line. ACA needs a turnover. Something good to happen right here. Number one comes in motion. Steve Parker Dare comes up, great, does a great, great job. Ball, it went out of bounds. Now, that's how you play it, right there, guys. I was, uh, I, I, I watched Parker on there. He, he shot in that gal to turn him inside, but he also made the play, which was that was a great play by Parker Dare. You know, Parker's one of those players. He's a 10th grader. But he's, he's one of those guys got to help carry us this year. I mean, he's he's a he's the kind of player that can make big plays. He's given up a couple of big plays tonight, but he's you know he's young and uh, guys. Our demeanor is just different than it was, especially in the first quarter. We're just playing a lot more aggressive. I agree. Four yard game on play by Robert Davis. Sean with a tackle. But I agree, Mike. I mean, uh, with about nine or ten minutes to go in the second quarter, our, our, our front seven started playing better. And, that, and since then, I mean, we've played extremely well. Here's a pass. He's wide open. Uh, but Dare comes up makes another uh, great don't know play. He, got it, guys. he don't have close. it. He's short by yard. Pass complete to Brock Montgomery. Tackled by Parker Dare. Play. You got to watch a Four fake right here. But Mop is showing punt, but I sure would be watching for yeah, a fake we, right here. Well, they got that. See that little short. Uh, they got they got two blocking backs. See the little back right behind the center right there. That, that could easily be snapped to him, and he could get that without no problem. Well, a little brotherly love here. We oh, what a this, punt! This would be returnable here, guys. Oh, oh, oh my! Got back on I'll it, tell buddy. you, we. Yeah. Just maybe trying to run a step or two before he had the ball. Yep. Well, we got it back. That's a plus. We've, we've lost a couple of those tonight that we didn't get back. And, uh, boy, it's a great kick by the Demopolis punter. Uh, Guys, you got to be pleased. Uh, two three and outs in a row to start the second half. Uh, yeah, we had two straight to end the second half, so. I mean the first half, so that's four straight possessions by Demopolis where we've jumped up there and and uh, done a pretty good job on. Them. We got Mullenbrock back in the pistol. We got JT Heights in the slot. Roberts wide. Can't tell who's wide over on the other side. Uh, didn't see that number. Something's going on. Uh, that's got to uh, be. A, I don't know about that's that. got to be a late hit. We finally got that late hit on the quarterback. It's going to be. Uh, looks like it's going to be offsides on us. Uh, center never, did the center snap the ball and nobody else moved? I don't think so. All right. Well, it might be offsides on them, but that's going to be a late hit on the quarterback. It's going to be a 15 yard penalty. Uh, yeah, Mr. 72. Mr. Lane Hawkins, uh, 6'1, 212. Kind of a little bigger than a quarterback, and he puts him on his backside there, and they're yep. taking him out of the game, and Coach Causey is letting him know his displeasure. Yep. Boy, he looks taller than 6'1", don't he? Guys, I'm going to tell you that front four uh, for uh, Demopolis is pretty pretty good size young men. 
Very athletic. They're not bad. They took out that number 54, the big kid. Yeah, I like that's good. I'm a defense for five yard penalty. Guys, that's pretty good yardage. Personal foul. I'm a defense. I was at the top of my class in math, but it adds up pretty well. Result of the play. First down, American Christian. That'd be 42 yard line. Now let's take advantage, guys. Austin Mullenbrock back in the pistol with 47. Sean Blackburn behind him. JT Heights, John Roberts to the right. Looks like Newman Bailey over to the left. They're going to oh, throw another shot. player to Great Roberts. Throw and he couldn't get to it. Yeah, that's Austin Mullenbrock pass and Jennifer John Roberts incomplete. Tommy Wilson in coverage. Official timeout on the field. Well, we got a timeout in the third quarter with 5.58 to go here at Patriot Field in Tuscaloosa. Been a rough night for the Patriots. A lot of turnovers, a lot of mistakes. Demopolis has capitalized on every one. We had a, a, a punt blocked in the end zone in the first quarter, lead uh, automatic touchdown. And then uh, Demopolis, with 28 seconds to go in the first half, intercepted a pass. Uh, they were up 35-7. to ACA going in from the eight-yard line to go to 35-14. Uh, miscommunication with the quarterback and the receiver, interception, and Demopolis, uh, number five for Demopolis, Tommy Wilson, defensive back, returned it 107 yards for a touchdown to end the first half. So instead of being a 35-14 game, it went to 42-7. to And uh, it's just been that kind of night for ACA, and Demopolis has uh, done a good job capitalizing on our mistakes. Mullenbrock back in the pistol again with, with Blackburn. Got Roberts to the far left now. Big rush. Mullenbrock's got to get rid of that. Got to get rid yep. of it. Can't hold on to it that long, guys. That's a sack. Number 45, number 40. Uh, Barnett with a tackle. Guys, we've got about third and 20. It's going to be very difficult to convert here. Again, third it might be John Roberts' time. Yeah, third and 19, probably going to be a draw. It's a safe call, but Coach Smelly, got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. He hasn't been able to use many of them tonight. But uh, we're going to split backfield out of the shotgun. Roberts to the left, but he's going to have double coverage over the top. Yeah, got a double coverage. We There's a fumble on the play. Just don't need any more mistakes, guys. First and ten at the twenty-seven. Short field for the Tigers. Yeah, we this three this would be a great three and out to have at this time. Yeah. I, it's getting uh there ain't a whole lot to say guys it's getting kind of quiet in here we're just running out of things to uh uh to say and it's uh we're just not playing very well and Demopolis is playing well and capitalizing on our mistakes Oh, they went. He's wide open. Yep. Great throw. Stevie Jones. Stevie Jones got caught up with a. Uh, Stevie Jones got caught up with a linebacker, and. Uh, it looks like he might be hurt. Greg. Yeah, linebacker Stevie Jones uh, got caught up with a tight end. Tight end got the best of that. Uh, they caught us in a little blitz, a little run blitz, and. Uh, had linebacker on tight end, and the tight end won that battle. An outstanding pass from the Moffitt's quarterback, number 11, Tucker Jones, a senior, uh, has made some nice passes tonight. That was a, that was right on the money. Who is that?
Stevie Jones was in coverage with a tight end there on that play and looks like he got hurt. Uh, Demopoulos kicks the extra point and uh, goes up 49 to seven here in the third quarter. It's uh, 441 left in the third quarter. 48 to seven Demopoulos and uh, Coach Tom Causey and the Demopoulos Tigers are having their way with American Christian Patriots tonight. Again, I think the Patriots came out here in the third quarter and the end of the second quarter and have battled really hard and played hard and have gotten after it. Uh, just, just too many mistakes, guys. I mean, another fumble. We've got an interception, fumble, block punt. You know, just mistake after mistake and penalties. And uh, our defense has played better. But we're, we're not going to see many teams as, as athletic as Demopolis in 3A football, I hope. Greg, I'm just thinking the same thing. Um, as we start region play next week, I believe that's Greene County coming here to ACA, that it's going to be very difficult as I look down our schedule to find somebody that we play that, that have this many players, uh, this many athletes, and this size uh, from top to bottom. It's just going to be very difficult. Well, I think this, hopefully, if we can just keep on playing hard, learn from our mistakes. Uh, and realize when we break film down, learn from it, I think we still can have a really good season here at ACA. I do too. And, you know, and everybody's talked about this being a down year for us. And it, I don't think it will be. I think these guys, I think we have the, we're pretty good up front. I think once we get into 3A football, we're going to be fine. But, you know, Mike, it, it's, uh, you just, John Roberts takes a kickoff and, and he's dancing again. You just, you know, he, he's, He's stopping in that hole, and if you don't hit that hole against these guys, you're not going anywhere. He's just going to have to learn that. John's got great hands. He just doesn't have the quickness to slow down and stop and choose his direction, not with athletes like Demopoulos has that are coming down the field. Yeah, not, not many guys do. I mean, that's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's hard to do that. Got Austin Mullenbrock going under center. Austin Hallman still snapping the ball. Will Sullivan at right guard. Big Nelson Brown at right tackle. Harry Stokes at guard. Logan Elliott at uh, the left tackle spot. Austin Akins is back in, number 23. JT Heights is getting a lot of playing time. I don't know where. Uh, Austin Mullenbrock pass. Trying to figure that one out, Greg. I'm like you. I'm trying to figure where he was going with that one. We got one-on-one -on -one out here with the John Roberts. Uh, might be time to take a shot downfield. Good crowd from Demopolis tonight. What a good crowd. Demopolis has a class program. We talked about that in the opening remarks. Demopolis has uh, won a state championship in football in 2009. And that's a pretty good play right there. Nice block by number nine, uh, JT Heights running hard. Number 25, there a sophomore. Is. That was Newman Bailey, another sophomore wide receiver. That uh, Darrell, he had a nice block right there. That was a nice play. Eight yards gained on the play. Tanner Moore with the tackle. Third and two, two and a half. This would be a good conversion here for us. Yeah, it would. We need to keep the ball. Guys, we're looking about three minutes and 52 seconds, clock running in, uh, in the third quarter. And, you know, again, we talked about it's halftime. We're probably not going to come back and win this game. Sure would good to, uh, be good to fix some of these mistakes and close strong. Now, see, I'm going to tell you now, Austin Akins, to me, He's a different back this half than he was the first half. Don't you agree? He has really ran downhill in the second half. It's encouraging to see that. Another first down. That's good news. Demopolis has subbed a few people on the, uh, on the defense. Uh, uh, linebacker, starting linebackers are out. Got a new safety in. Still got, still a lot of their starters in. So about half and half, uh, up 49 to seven. And uh, another pass, but uh, that's a great catch. 
Austin Bowen drops the pass. And to the John Roberts will be complete. JT Heiss was not covered to start with on his route. It would have been really, really good on his part if he could have picked that up and went about five yards and turned around. And uh, I think Austin Mullenbrock would have had time to get him for about five or six yards there. But he kept running. And when Austin got hit by in the, in the arm on that play, the ball luckily yeah, did. didn't get picked off. Yeah, he did get hit as he was throwing. It kind of made it a dying duck just because he got hit. We're in a split backfield again. Newman Bailey's getting a lot of playing time at receiver. John Roberts is in one-on-one. -on -one. That's number one, helps over the top. And uh, Aaron Box is in a slot. Throwing the ball again, nice blocking. And uh, we're just, Aaron just Box was uh, right open in the flat. Uh, Mullenbrock had plenty of time. I like that play right there, Greg. Uh, later on, that may be one to come back to, fake it to Aaron, and then you'll yeah. have your slot man going down the field. If you can get that safety to bite him. Where was he at, Darrell? Was he in the, in the flat? Where was he at? Aaron Box lining up at tight end. J.T. Heights in the left slot. Uh, Box is now going to the right slot with Newman Bailey and Roberts, number seven, wide. Austin Aiken still in the backfield tailback. From the pistol, Mullenbrock takes a snap, looks to throw, makes the throw to Aaron Box over the middle to about the 42, 43-yard line. not enough for first down. We've got frustration going on, and it might be against, uh, against us. Might be against us. I, I hope not. Um, nice throw, um, made a nice catch, didn't get a lot of yards out of it. We ran about a five-yard pattern. That was a, I guess that was a, a safety guy. I uh, think the penalty is going to be 15 on us. Maybe it'll be offsetting, but either way, we're going to punch the football, and give Demopolis the ball back. Dead ball, personal foul on the offense. Yeah, number 42, Aaron Box picks up a personal foul. Uh, caught that pass and uh, dead ball, personal foul on the offense. Both of those were on us. Well, I think that yeah, the, I think the ball, they called it the, on the same play. They called oh, the same right, foul. Okay. Two, two different guys. Well, Aaron Box, 42, uh, got tackled pretty hard, and there's a little activity once he got on the ground, and he took offense to that and popped up and kind of hit the guy, and you just can't do that. You know, 49-7, to 7, I know you're frustrated, and, you know, it, it, it happens, and you just got to learn uh, just to get up. And pretty nice play by number 14, Colton very, Bradford. Very there. good, Colton Bradford. That was a nice coverage. Connor Pinkett, kick, at the 42-yard line, no return. Colton, Colton plays a little bit like his older brother who played here a few years ago, Clint. Yeah, he was a good player, wasn't he? Very, very good player. Very aggressive. Always trying to make a play. Colton looks like he's going to be the same way. He does. He's just a 10th grader, too. He's going to get a little bigger. He's 5'10", 170. I, that might be pretty kind. I don't know if old Colton weighs 170. Now, that might be a little kind, but uh, he might be a 170 soaking wet. A couple, couple of water bottles in each hand, he might get there. Uh, well, trip to catfish heaven in a, in a shower, he might weigh 170. But uh, but I tell you what, he plays like he weighs 190. There's a oh, nice man. play. How about that? Austin, Austin Akins. We are starting to call Austin Akins' name, and maybe, just maybe, we talked to Coach Causey before the game, guys, and I ask him, who, who tonight is going to be somebody that we really hadn't heard of and hadn't seen who, uh, who might step up and do some, something great? And Austin Akins was one of those guys. He just, uh, he just the first quarter, he was just nervous. He was hesitant, and uh, he's made up his mind to play football. And since about 10 minutes in the second quarter, he has been uh, outstanding. And... Uh, We've got two men in motion. We can't have that. So oh, this is a big it. play for the Moppas, but it's going to come back. Well, now, guys, if we are up in Canada playing Canadian football, that might work, but uh, it was not going to work tonight. But you know what, guys? You take uh, – we, we had this, and I hate to use a basketball analogy, the football game. We had a game, you know, a couple years ago where Coast Springs just beat our eyes out. And, uh, you know, we – 
you can take a, a, a game like tonight where you don't play well, you know it should have been more competitive, and you can take that to Monday practice, and you can get a lot better after a game like tonight than you can beating somebody a lot like we did last year, 50 to nothing, 57 to seven. Tonight's one of those nights where we're seeing some guys grow up against a good football team. And I think when we see some, uh, some 3A football teams and some teams that we're gonna play on our schedule, some of these kids play like this. We know some of these other guys are gonna come around Well, I mean, can we agree that, you know, you pretty much got to be given that, uh, that Austin Hallman, uh, Logan Elliott, Will Sullivan, Nelson Brown, they're going to show up and play. Now, Sean Blackburn has not played well tonight, but Sean Blackburn last year in our run through the playoffs was our best linebacker. Well, and two, Greg, you know, this is probably, what, just his second year to play football. Absolutely. And, and I can tell you, uh, Brody Kale comes in, number 33. Number 33, Brody Kale, who's coming off knee surgery last year, comes in on a third down and 16 and uh, sacks the quarterback. Nice play by Brody. Good to see him back in health. He's a good kid. Hard worker. But, but you know what I'm saying. I mean, you got some guys out there. Aaron Box got a ton of experience. That front line's got a ton of experience. You can see these guys. I mean, you get Austin Akins and Colton Bradford and Cole Campbell over there. You get some of these guys to pick up their game, and you can see that we get out of the makings of a pretty solid football team before the end of the year. If Coach Caldy, Coach Smelly, and those guys, it's going to be a flag. Uh, There's a flag on the one. If they can keep their heads up and keep them working, you can see that they could they could build to have a pretty decent football team. That's for sure. They can come out playing like they have in this third quarter against some of these other teams that aren't five and teams with 85 players on the roster. Yeah, it's been it's, it's been one of those games. It's been one of those games where, you know, I think Demopolis is going to win the game either way. They're better than us tonight, but but the penalties and the turnovers, the 21 points on the turnovers, has made the game a whole lot more out of reach than it would have been. And ACA has just really hurt themselves. In a game like this, you can't turn. We you know we talked about it before the game. What we have to do is control the football and not turn the ball over and not make mistakes. Well, if that was our game plan, we just we just haven't done any of that. And uh, it's just been a rough night for ACA. What we need to do is pray as we get on out of this thing, we don't have any injuries, we move on to next week. Got to be ready for next week. We start region play. Green County in the house uh, next Friday night. As a matter of fact, I looked at the schedule. I'm sure you have, Greg. We don't go out of Tuscaloosa County for about six weeks. We have three straight home games. I think then we go to Holt, which is just down the street almost from the ACA campus. And then we have three more home games. So, uh, Yeah. It, you know, here's uh, David Grammer, you know, Austin Grammer's dad. They're over in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee tonight getting ready to watch Middle Tennessee State play for uh, – uh, their first college game where Austin is. He's going to be red-shirted as a quarterback over there. And uh, I'm just telling him here on text that he asked what's going on. We, we thought we would be able to play with Demopolis tonight. And I'm just telling him we, we've just made too many mistakes. It's just, it's been a, uh, that's all you can say about tonight. Well, we hold him again. The mop was punting punt. the football. John Roberts is back. He's going to let that one go. It's going to roll an extra 12 or 15. That's one of those we probably should have came up and caught. Uh, but, hey, it's a lot better to be safe. Uh, no return on the play. And let's get the football Three back. Christian at the 27-yard line. Yeah, we've uh, – it'd be nice. We're starting the fourth quarter where we just had to punt first play of the first uh, 
of the fourth quarter. You can see in the, we called the inaugural Causey Bowl, the score is 49 to seven. And uh, the Moppas is having their way. We're starting the fourth quarter. So 49 to seven, 5A Demopolis against 3A American Christian. Been an exciting night for us um, in a lot of ways. We were excited about hosting Demopolis with uh, Tom Causey and uh, John Causey coaching against each other. Uh, but uh, the, the first night, Mike, you've been at uh, ACA for years. You've had three different kids come through. Uh, it excites me to, uh, for us to have a marching band. That's a cool thing for me. A lot of, lot of things, positive things are happening at school. Uh, increasing students, band. We're playing some interesting folks this year, especially this first game being Demopolis. And uh, just, just a great time. We, we – uh, poor Austin's getting racked up pretty good right now. We got those – we're just taking too long to throw the football. We got to block a little better. We got to get rid of the football. And, uh, you know, the great thing is, is we got a quarterback coach and offensive coordinator that's played big-time college football. He's been on the biggest stage in college football, and he'll fix that. Tonight's Austin's first start. He's done a lot of good things. Uh, and uh, we're fortunate to have Chris Smelly to come back to his alma mater and and uh, be on the coaching staff this year. You're, you're asking a lot of these young players to step out here against 5A Demopolis. It's been a tremendous learning experience, and hopefully this will make us better uh, on down into the season. Sean Blackburn, 47, gets the ball, makes a good run, gets out to the 30-yard line for first down for ACA. He did, had some good blocking. Uh, we've got a substitute in, number, number 52, Aaron Kirkley, has come in. It looks like uh, he's replaced Will Sullivan. Can anybody see? Will, Will's down there. He's back down by Coach Calls. He's been going both ways all game. Uh, looks like they're getting Kirkley some playing time, number 52. Most everybody else is still the same. JT Heights has got great minutes tonight. we got a new player in, number four, Caleb Squires is uh, split wide to the left. Caleb, a great athlete, and one of our backup quarterbacks, uh, but a really good athlete. And, and that's going to be a, uh, that's a live ball. That should have been a live ball. That should have been a turnover right there. The referee in the, on the side uh, blew that whistle. Darrell, you see, that looked like Mike. Uh, we, he should. Umpire didn't make that call real right off to let us know if that was going to be no, a No, he didn't. And that's uh, we got fourth and seven here with after that good run by by uh, Sean Blackburn, and uh, well, we're going to have to get rid of the ball, guys. We're going to have to get back there. You're not going to be able to expect more than four or five seconds. You've got to get rid of the football, or you throw it out of bounds. Yeah, that's tough. To, uh, we. Yeah, we're gonna, you know, and then, like I said, Coach Smelly, Coach Calls, will figure that out and get some shorter routes. And the office has been on us pretty quick. Uh, I feel like we'll make those adjustments and get better. Well, as we said earlier, it's been a great year uh, already at ACA. Got a new uh, high school baseball coach, Eric Dubose. Played at Mississippi State, was a strikeout leader for the for the Bulldogs over there in Starkville. Played professional baseball for several years and now our head coach. Got a great assistant coach in Eric Smallwood uh, in middle school. Our middle school football team, which is led by A.J. Jordan, had a uh, jamboree this Tuesday night. Uh, did outstanding. They lost both halves, but uh, played well. Got a lot of young guys. Uh, had a great turnout for middle school. Over a thousand people here for a middle school jamboree. Uh, crazy uh, to see that. Rock Corey and Duncanville. Connor Thickman, who has done an outstanding job tonight, is back to punt again. Low snap. Great and another punt, great. great punt. Connor Thickpin has went to uh, Paul's is fixing to go berserk. I'm not sure I know what uh, what this young referee is watching down here, but we've got a guy from Demopolis throwing headshots to one of our guys. 
I don't think they're watching the same game that we're watching. No, uh, well. Definitely the guy here on our sideline. No, I'm just going to tell you now. Chris Smelly's upset. He done thrown his hat off and got his earphones up. Chris don't get upset very often. Yes, I agree. And so and, that means uh, it was worth getting upset about. I can tell you right now, Chris felt like uh, Chris felt like somebody's face was getting First hurt. First and ten at the 35. And I'm going to tell you now, we at, uh, at ACA, we do uh, everything in character and try to be a class act about everything. you got to protect your players. And on that play right there, I think, that's, again, I think that's what Chris was doing. He was saying, hey, let's go get anybody hurt. You're right, Mike. Austin Aiken's in on another uh, another tackle. He's got a great second half. No hand on the play. Will Sultan with the tackle. Coach Smelly still fired up. You know. We got some new guys in on defense. Young guys. I mean. Yeah, we do. Got number eight over there. Let's see. That's uh, Trey Chapman over there. Uh, number 21 here is uh, Charlie Thigpen's in the game. That's Connor Thigpen's brother. And uh, number five right there, Josh Gilliland came up and made a nice tackle over on the uh, on the left side. Still got the big boys in there up front. Uh, Logan Elliott and uh, Nelson Brown, Will Sullivan, Austin Hallman. At the but you're right, Mike. A lot of young guys. Charlie Thigpen, a ninth grader over here, cornerback. And uh, Caleb Squires. It is. It's good for them. And it's good to play this kind of competition. A lot of young guys on both sides playing now. Demopolis about to punt again to us. John Roberts yeah. back. We know Demopolis in the second half only had one good drive. And that's, well, really actually wasn't a great drive. We turned the ball over on the 31 yard line and then they threw that flare. Got us turned around on that out pattern. But, uh, you know, actually look at old Logan Elliott Huston. He hit the punter though. That's going to be a penalty. And, uh, John Roberts, still with the kick at the 30, no return. There's a flag on the field. Now, I'm not real clear. I'm not real clear on the high school rules about running into the kicker and roughing the kicker. I know in college you have two different calls. In high school, I think you just have, I think you just have roughing the kicker. I think it's going to be a first down to Mopolis. Uh, we only needed four. Yeah, so it's going to be a first down either way. It's a 15-yard penalty. No? Five-yard penalty, first down, Demopolis. Uh, you kind of got to like the effort by Logan Elliott, senior. Uh, I'm sure he's a little upset about how the games went tonight. He's still going all out, uh, rushing the punter. And really, the guy blocked him pretty good, too. So kind of got knocked into him, but that's still still roughing the kicker. Demopolis uses their second timeout. Out the field, called by American Christian. Timeout was called by Demopolis because American Christian doesn't have any. So that was Demopolis' second timeout. Um, that's why right, American Christian, yeah, they got two left for this half. Yeah, I thought he was too. Logan, uh, I thought he was too. But you know, again, officiating part of the game. And, Officiate and don't get you down 49 to 7, so we just got to keep our head up and keep playing hard and move forward. Now, you know us guys up here, how hard it is for us to talk about this game down 49 to 7. You know how hard it is on the kids to keep playing. Well, that's, that's where you find out uh, who's really wanting to play, who's out there to try to maybe take a spot, who doesn't give up teaches a lot about life, and you're going to have a lot of these situations if you stay in the game, yep. and certainly in life, long enough. So, uh, great opportunity to see, as they say, where the cream rises. Well, you got Trey Chapman over there at eight, and uh, you know number five here, Josh Gillen's in the game, and that is a great tackle again. There he comes, Austin Aikens in the backfield again, number 23. Junior from Cottondale, Alabama. Austin Aikens back in the backfield again. He's had a really nice game. I, 
I think he's probably earned him a spot on defense tonight. Uh, don't think he started the game on defense, but I think he'll end up playing there because he has really gotten after it here second half and done well. Charlie Thigpen, ninth grader, number 21 over here on the left cornerback spot. Really good athlete. They look for Charlie to do some good things. Uh, cornerback, number 28, Chase Boland. Chase Boland's a sophomore. And uh, quarterback keeps the ball. It's a touchdown. Uh, Going to have a hold. Going to have a hold on number 70. Uh, uh, lineman there held Nelson Brown. 72 was in the backfield, and he held him. Nelson did a good job there. Uh, him and Will Sullivan both in the backfield got held to bring that back. At number eight, that's Taylor Perry, the quarterback there. You showed some speed right there. You saw he sure him. did. When he saw the hole, he was through it and on down the highway there, as you say. That's that 10th grade class they talked about. That 10th grade class is that young group, Mike, you were talking to uh, those guys about that they're really excited about. And uh, that's our backup quarterback, Taylor Perry, 6'2", 162-pound sophomore, handling that ball. Handling that ball pretty nice back there, and then took off. Uh, Look like he has some pretty good speed. The mop has crossed the board. Right Looks like the mop has crossed the board as their second team offense in now. And uh, number eight, as we Got said, sophomore quarterbacking. And uh, number six, their running back's taking a break. He needs to because he's gained a lot of yards tonight. Roderick Davis, most of them in the first half. The Chase Bowling, sophomore, and Charlie Thigpen, freshman, are out here on the left side. Another run up the middle. Uh, ball goes behind the runner's back, and he picks it back up and uh, and gains 10 yards. A lot of hitting going on after the whistle. The referee's trying to clean that up. A uh, lot of hitting going on after the whistle. No. We got some guys, Aaron Box, Sean Blackburn, Austin Aiken, Logan Elliott, Nelson 46. Brown, Will Sullivan, Austin Hallman have yet to come out of the game. They play both ways all night long on both sides of the both sides of the football. I bet old Big Nelson lost 10 pounds tonight, Big Hoss. Like Nelson again, nice yeah. play. Looks like they tried to run that play again. Nelson Brown was not held and he makes the tackle. <laughs> That's a good point. Of course, it's hard to hold Nelson. I mean, it's hard to block him or hold him. But uh, Austin Hallman, too, they, they kind of sniffed that out. Referee time, 9.23 at night here in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. American Christian, Patriot Field. Been a rough night for the home team. As you can see, the ACA Patriots are down 49-7. Uh, to seven. Five minutes and 32 seconds to go. Uh, in tonight's game. The storyline for this game was uh, the fact that uh, Tom Causey, the older brother of ACA coach John Causey, coaches the Mopless Tigers. Tom's 42 years old, played at uh, West Alabama, Livingston, uh, Livingston, Alabama. Uh, started out as a tight end, ended up on uh, the defensive line. John Causey, of course, is All-SEC All-American center uh, with Gene Stallings at Alabama. Uh, considered to be one of the better centers to ever play at Alabama. And uh, Coach Stallings and him still very, very good friends now. Uh, so it was uh, two brothers against each other, but I think uh, Tom had a little more ammunition. He brought a little more ammunition from the Mopless tonight. That's right, Greg. He got uh, about, well, over twice as many players. And like I said before, all, overall, a little bigger, a little stronger, a little faster. And we're, we're playing 5A football tonight, no doubt. The good thing is the Moppus is pun, uh, punting again. That's a good call by John Roberts to let that go. You got to let that go. Nice play. Nice play by John Roberts. Well, we got hamburgers uh, brought up. We still have about 16 of them in the back there. Good gracious. I didn't see that. It's been hard for me to eat. No return. Touchback. First and 10. That's a 20. I was hoping the cameraman would eat most of them.
Five minutes and ten seconds. We got first down and ten for ACA on the 20 yard line. It's uh Austin Aiken still running hard, and Logan Elliott and 71 still going after it. Five-yard gain by Austin Aiken. Second and five. To Austin Mullenbrock still in at quarterback. Uh, five minutes to go in tonight's game, down 40, uh, four minutes, 46 seconds to go. Most likely our last offensive possession tonight. Excuse me, from the 25-yard line, Mullenbrock's under center with Aaron Box and Austin Akins in the backfield. Brody Kell in motion, number 33. Big hole for Austin Akins, but closed up very quickly. Somebody there in that defensive backfield came in and just really There's made a great tackle. We got another late hit. Yeah. by Austin Akins. Guys, do you know how many flags we had tonight? Several, hadn't we? Matthew Dawkins with a tackle. 15, 16, it's been, a, it's been a bunch. And uh, ACA had eight or nine in the first half, and I know now Demopolis has probably had uh, six or seven here in, here in this. It, it might be up to 20 flags. Yeah, that was another. He's ejected. Number 45 is number five. I told you, you know, we just talked about that. A lot of stuff going on after the play. And... Uh, Number 45 still in the game. He was one of their one of their uh, starting uh, tackles. He was back in the game. Uh, number 45 for Demopolis, Timothy Bonner, 6'3", 185 pound uh, defensive lineman. First and ten at the 41. Ejected from the game, and uh, just hope and pray everybody just kind of calms down a little bit. You know, sometimes it gets kind of chippy when it's 49 to seven. And uh, you got to give the officials credit. You got to throw that flag because if you don't throw it, then it gets. Next Things can really get out of hand. That's right. So you got to give the officials credit. To, and you got to keep throwing it. If there's a minute left, you got to throw it because if you don't, it just. The game gets away. Brody Kill, 33, in motion again. Mullenbrock pitches to Aikens, bobbles the pitch. And now I'm going to tell you now, number seven for Demopolis. Keontae, Keontae Jeffries, defensive back, junior. Keontae Jeffries come up. Lost on the play. Jaquan Lawson with a tackle, second and 11, and fired the 41 yard line. Makes an outstanding tackle. See, this is what you get, Mike. You look at those guys now. You're looking at uh, that second team right there. Probably going to be about like half the teams we play in our, our 3A schedule this year. That number seven right there would start. Uh, just about any 3A high school. Still good size, still very athletic, very deep. And that's what you expect out of a 5A school. Austin Aikens on the draw again. Oh, he got a little face mask, uh, but I don't think they seam. caught it. Gets about five yards. Austin's got to be getting tired. Uh, Four yard gain on the play by Austin Aikens. What's he done with the tackle? I think we're going to have third down at five. Third and seven at the 44. Third and seven. The ACA marching band has not quit playing all night. We got the JV cheerleaders over to the right. Varsity cheerleaders over to the left. Still got a still got a really good crowd here on the ACA side. I know they're disappointed in tonight's game, but I hope they're taking the positive things that we've seen uh, from tonight to uh, take that, and hopefully we'll be better. John Roberts again looks like he's being held all the way. And still uh, makes the catch. Complete to John Roberts. Pitch yard gain on the play. Fourth and a long one from midfield. Uh, fourth and one here. You might as well go for it. Got to go for it. Got to go for it. Try to get down here and score in the game on a positive note. Would be tremendous. Yeah, John Roberts has done done a good job tonight. They've gotten the ball to him. You know they're putting their best defensive back on him. He's but he's, uh, Tommy made Wilson. Some, made some good catches. Number nine, Newman Bailey back in the game. Uh, number 17, 
Grayson Nolan split out right. That's Aaron Box. First down. Uh, first time Box. First time he's carried the ball tonight. And uh, gets the first down. Marking by Aaron Box. Sebastian Hale with the tackle. First and 10 American Christian inside the 45. First down and 10 for ACA as the clock's winding down on tonight's game. Now 49 to 7. One minute and 32 seconds left. Austin Mullenbrock in the pistol. Goes back to pass. Screen pass to Austin Akins. Pretty good play. Austin runs downhill, gets about uh, five yards. Austin does a good job getting downfield. Aiken's uh, starting to limp a little bit. He's played hard tonight. He's had a good second half to rail out. Five yard gain by Austin Aiken. Second and five at the 40. He has. I, I would say of all the guys tonight, if we had to pick a kid who has stood out probably the most, I know some of our interior guys have had a pretty decent night, but I'd have to say, just going by how many names we've called, Austin Aikens would probably have to be the player of the game tonight for us. That's encouraging, Junior. Again, nobody's blocked. He's free. We, we don't get rid of the football. We just... Uh, They're going to let it run down. That'll be the end of tonight's game. With uh, nine seconds left, ACA will not get off another play. And uh, ACA goes down tonight to the Demopolis Tigers, 49-7. to And we will, uh, we will, uh, thank you, buddy. We'll be back next week. Uh, live against Greene County right here on the AHSAA network. Hopefully spread the word so more people can watch live next week uh, as we get this broadcast down. And Darrell and I uh, get used to calling these games and learning the kids. Uh, it's going to be a fun year. Darrell, I think ACA is going to, uh, you know, you always make your most improvement to your second game. The Mopless had a jamboree game. We did, and I think that helped them. And uh, we really just made way too many mistakes to, uh, to, to compete in this football game tonight. Yeah, we just, again, you can say it over and over and over. I think uh, I think Coach Causey and the guy, I think they were prepared. I just think that our, our, our guys were really nervous the first the first 15 minutes of show. I mean, the first two or three plays we ran, we, we, you know, we bobbled the ball, fumbled the ball, had a block punt. We just, we just, uh, just didn't play well tonight, but we'll get better. And Coach Causey, Coach Smell, the guys, all the staff will get these guys together. And, the young guys got experience tonight. We'll be back for Green County next week. Enjoy the real.